Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. Today, another uh, segment of Gentry in a Jiffy. If you missed the previous episodes, basically this is just a, a quick format, shorter, more concise videos where I answer some of your most frequently asked questions. And if you have any questions or advice to the topics we're discussing today, please do share them down below or feel free to email in at theurbangentry at gmail.com or one word. Right, let's get into it. So the first email we had in is from Paul. I won't say your surname. Oh, almost forget, sorry. Wristwatch check. I'm wearing the uh, little blue Submariner there from Tudor and it is on a Phoenix mil spec NATO strap. If you guys know your history, you will know that this is the original, the Admiralty Grey, this is the historically correct, the very first NATO strap ever was uh, in this configuration. Um, so I thought as it's a military diver, well, not this particular model, but the history with Tudor, it was marriage made in heaven and the colors, of course, obviously. So uh, yeah, wristwatch check done. Right, let's get back to it. So Paul says, hello, I'm looking at a Squalor 20 Atmos Militare on Noman watches. Have you had any experience with this site? The prices seem really good. I just wanted to make sure it's a reputable site before I put in an order. They are not available on the Squalor site, the main Squalor site, as far as I can tell. Thoughts, question mark. Excellent question. So now a little bit of horological trivia before we get into it. The gnomon, it's the um, part of a sundial that uh, casts a shadow uh, so you can work out the time. Very cool. If, if you're into your horology, you'll know that. But anyway, I can personally attest to them. I've ordered Squally watches myself from them. They are based in uh, Singapore. They were extremely attentive to my emails, very friendly, very professional, and very fast as well. Uh, they have free international shipping. But the most important thing, guys, have a look at their website, because if you scroll down to the bottom, is it say here, authorized dealer for. Now, if you're gray market, or you're not an authorized dealer, or you're an independent watch dealer, you cannot say this, okay? And to be an authorized dealer, okay, you have to be in the business for a long time, you have to be trusted, you have to have earned that uh, recognition and, and uh, from the brands. So, uh, just to give you an example, Alpina, Damasco, Dietrich, Ball, which is one of my top 10 most underrated watches, uh, watch brands, Laco, uh, Oris, Squale, Steinhardt, U-Boat, Seiko, uh, Victorinox, etc., etc. They are legit, okay? They're actually, I think they've got a brick and mortar store as well. But check out the Instagram because their Instagram is rather in interesting. Uh, they actually recently went to uh, Steinhardt to see the factory. They've been to the Squale factory in Switzerland. You get to see the watches uh, being made and all this kind of stuff. So. Very, very cool indeed. To answer your kind of second part of the question, they have a lot of special editions. Uh, why they sell them on the main Squalor website does not. That is something that only Squalor can tell you. I, you know, I have no affiliate. Well, I've, I've collaborated with them on a special edition, but I'm not part of their brand, so I, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. From what I understand, um, they, they, make a lot of special editions f just for Gnome watches, so, which is pretty cool. In fact, I was, and this is gonna really upset a lot of the haters, but oh, I'm so tempted to buy it just to, just to do this, but solid gold uh, 1545. It's gorgeous with blue bezel, um, 18 karat yellow gold, just shy of four grand. I was this close to buying it last week. I had to talk myself out of it. But anyway, why am I talking about this? I'm probably not gonna go for it for another reason, which we'll discuss in another um, video. Nothing to do with uh, Squall or anything. I would love to have that watch. Just, you know, it's a lot of money. Can you imagine? Oh my God, the, the hatred I would get for that. It kind of makes almost worth doing it just, just to get all the haters' uh, knickers in a twist, right? But anyway. So they are legit. I personally have bought Squalor uh, from them uh, for a present as a gift for a friend of mine and they were lightning fast to New York City from Singapore. It was only a couple of days, I think. So very, very professional. So rest assured, they are fantastic. I cannot recommend them enough. And guys, 
I don't get anything for recommending uh, anywhere that, that uh, sells watches. The most important thing for me is knowing you are in safe, trusted hands of a professional watch uh, seller. You guys out there being able to uh, buy and sell safely, uh, that's where I get, that's my payment, knowing that you're in safe hands, okay? So it's simple as that. Okay, second question, let's get into it. Hi TGV, I hope you're well. I'm very well, thank you. You see that, I like that, I like that. A sign of manners is whenever you ask the person you're emailing, you wish them well. I mean, it's basic etiquette anyway. Why am I discussing that? Quick question. Is Amazon a safe place to buy watches from? I know you have an affiliate store, which is excellent by the way. Thank you, link below. Uh, but what are your experiences of buying on Amazon. Thank you, Terry in Atlanta. Thank you, Terry. Excellent question. This I get almost daily. Okay, so Amazon, it's a mixed bag, okay? I, I have to be honest, there are some rather, not shady because to, to be able to sell on Amazon, I mean, you, you have to jump through a lot of hoops and you have to be quite reputable to sell uh, on there in the first place. They will boot off any anybody that doesn't play by the rules. However, there's still a large presence of gray market sellers on them there. How do you tell gray market from not? It's down to you to figure out if they're ADs or gray market. And how you do that is, first of all, don't just go on there, click buy, boom, done. it's done, right? You need to do a Google on the seller. When you go to buy a watch, it will say, uh, it will give you a choice of which seller to buy from, for the most part. Sometimes if it's a rarer piece or an obscure brand, uh, then it, you might only have one choice. Now, the great thing is Amazon is much more interactive than just buying it off directly from a seller's website, a, a private website. You will see ratings and you'll see feedback. And bear in mind, nobody has a perfect feedback. So there'll always be a little degree of risk, but not so much if you go with a high rated seller. So read the feedback, do a quick Google on their name. If it's in the United States, you have the, the triple B, which is the this is so difficult to say. It's, it's a real tongue twister of alliteration, but it's the Better Business Bureau. Yes, nailed it. Uh, hashtag nailed it. Take two minutes just to make sure that they're legit, that they're authorized dealers, etc., etc., And then you can buy with confidence, okay? It's really that simple. Like I said, the downside is there are gray market uh, sellers, so you won't get the full uh, manufacturer's warranty most of the time. Uh, what else can I say about Amazon? Oh, but ultimately, I think Amazon is safer, certainly than a lot of independent sites, because at the end of the day, if there is a problem, you are covered by Amazon and dealing with, I mean, we've all bought from Amazon, right? I mean, <laughs> you had to have been living under a rock not to buy something from Amazon these days. Just like anything, I bought a, a pair of trousers the other day. I didn't like them. I returned them. It was very easy. Same thing with shoes and the same thing with watches. If there is an issue, at least you've got the overarching big protection of Amazon, right? So Amazon's fine for the most part, but do your due diligence, it only takes a few moments and you'll be absolutely fine. Personally, I'm not gonna recommend any watches over $1,000. All the watches on my store, you'll notice for the most part, they're things like Seiko, Oris, Orient, Casio, who else, Timex, um, Hamilton, these kinds of brands, right? Anyway, I've, I'm already going on a tangent. Let's try and keep this short and sweet. Guys, if you have any advice, questions, all the rest of it, please share down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao. This is a public service reminder for The Good Gentry. Please follow us on Instagram, join the Facebook UGWC group, and click on the bell to keep notified of new videos. Don't forget to keep it positive, keep it gentry, onwards and upwards. Thank you.